All right, guys, what's going on? Levi Trumbull reporting here, and we have a very interesting story to throw by you guys real quick. This story is very up and down, and there's a lot of people with a lot of mixed emotions about this subject. So here's what's going on. 64-year-old Maureen Donovan, she is a woman out of Annapolis, Maryland. She was recently arrested and charged with four different crimes. Uh, the first crime was burglary in the second degree, which is a felony, and then she was also charged with two counts of burglary in the fourth degree, which are misdemeanor counts. And then finally, she was charged with theft of an item less than $100 in value. This all stems from an incident where uh, she stayed overnight in Annapolis City Hall, which is a government building, and uh, the uh, the custodians found her the next morning with the mayor's gavel. Now, she didn't technically walk out or vacate the premises with any of the items, but nonetheless, she is charged with burglary and with theft of the item. Again, she did not vacate the premises with the items, and she is facing, you know, a felony, one felony and three misdemeanors, all as it relates to burglary and theft. Now, you know, obviously you're not allowed to stay overnight at a at anywhere you're not, you know, welcome to. And obviously she was not welcome to stay there overnight. And, you know, evidently this is somebody who, you know, this history of homelessness and maybe some mental issues as well. But nonetheless, that's sort of where the controversy lies is that, you know, some people feel that, you know, it's a very stiff situation, very stiff, you know, they're really dropping the hammer on this individual you know, especially given the fact that nothing was actually, you know, removed from the premises. But again, that is the allegation that she uh, broke into, not really broke into, but she came into this facility. She stayed overnight. They thought she was there for the public meeting. She ended up staying behind and eating Hot Pockets throughout the night. And when they found her in the morning, she was with the mayor's gavel. That is Mayor uh, Buckley of Annapolis City. And they found her that morning with the gavel, the mayor's gavel, uh, somewhere in the Annapolis City Hall. Uh, again, evidently she ate Hot Pockets and they charged her with that too. But yeah, it's sort of making headlines around here. It's pretty somewhat controversial, I would say. You know, a lot of mixed emotions on the subject, whether she, she should or whether she should not be facing that stiff uh, of charges uh, when seemingly nothing was actually removed off of the premise. So what I did was I called uh, the communications spokesperson for Annapolis City Police. The guy's name is Bernie Bennett, and he clarified the issue a little bit. So with that, uh, check out this phone conversation between myself and uh, spokesperson for the city police, Bernie Bennett, and uh, come up with your own conclusions and let me know what you guys think in the comments. And with that, Levi Trumbull reporting in Frederick County, Maryland. We'll catch you guys soon. Hello, this is Bernie. Hey, Bernie, what's going on? My name is Levi Trumbull. I'm calling in on a recorded hotline. The reason for this call is I was trying to get some information. I'm doing a story about this uh, individual who was charged at uh, Annapolis City Hall with, I believe it was three or four counts of theft as it relates to a woman who, I guess you guys allege, broke into Annapolis City Hall and was stealing some Hot Pockets. I know what I've read about the situation, but I'm trying to get uh, some some further details about that, if you would know them. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Hold on just a second, Levi. Just one second. Not please. a problem. Hey, Levi. Thanks for holding. Yeah, not a problem. I were you just pulling up some notes or something? Yes. Appreciate it. Could you summarize that incident for me a little bit? Or do I, I mean, I might have it correct. Is it that she broke into Annapolis City Hall after hours and stole these hot pockets? I mean, do you want to walk me through sort of the timeline of how you guys see it? She found an employee uh, who was entering the building into the building. There was a public meeting taking place, so we believe the employee thought that she was there for the public meeting. Um, when the public meeting was over, she stayed. Um, she slept there, and uh, she was charged with uh, one count of second degree burglary, two counts of fourth degree burglary, and one count of theft. The theft was the gavel that the mayor uses to gavel in uh, sessions, gavel in public hearings and meetings. Okay, so let me pull this up here in front of me just so I'm clear. 
So yes, the one count is for burglary in the second degree. What is that in relationship to? Because I know that that's a felony, and that is being, at least from the records that I have here, that's being handled by the circuit court now? Yes. And what was that what Was that in relationship to, that second degree burglary charge? Burglary doesn't necessarily refer to uh, stealing something or theft. Burglary means that you entered the property illegally. Okay. Okay. Um, whether you actually took something or not is not the point. Once you cross the threshold of some place that you were not invited to, that is perfect. Okay, well, that's that's good because that actually is some clarification because I didn't see a trespass charge on here. So is it, this goes beyond the trespass. That's right. Is what a burglary is. Okay, that's it. So then where does the – I see two counts for fourth-degree burglary, and those are both misdemeanors. Do you have any clarification on those two charges? I don't. Oh, you do not. Okay. Yeah, and the, and you said that the the theft issue, the theft less than a hundred dollars, that is for the the gavel. Correct. Now she she took it with her when she left. No, 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 no. She had it with her when she was discovered. Well, did she vacate the premises with it? No. Okay. Uh, do you want to clarify that? I'm a little bit confused about. Can you be charged with theft if you don't leave the premises with an item? Um, no, I mean, the, uh, the item was not supposed to be something that she took in the first place, so that's where the theft comes in. But, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, and again, I'm just generally asking questions here. I'm a I little understand. bit, yeah. Because I, th- yeah, I always I figured, so. like, with theft, like, if I went to Walmart and I walked out with, you know, uh, a, a handbag of Snickers bars and I didn't pay for them, that might be where you'd see a, a theft less than $100, but you don't actually have to leave with the item. You just – it's the fact that she just had it on her purse, and she was – and it was, the item was not where it was supposed to be is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Okay, is that is how you can make that leap. So the crux of it is just that she came in. It was presumed that she was coming in for the public hearing. I know they – hold that every week and she overstayed uh, after the after the public meeting and, and and the and nobody knew about that is what you're saying until they caught her later by a security guard the next morning the next oh was an oh okay so she she actually spent the whole night correct oh okay wow and she was presumably if she took the mayor's gavel she was in his headquarters or in his office no part of it uh, that's not where she was, but um, some of that is investigated. And I really can't get the details about it. I'm okay. still trying to figure out, you know, uh, step by step what happened. Well, because so some of this. No, please go ahead. What was that? Some of this, I uh, yeah, I can't get into any further. All right, I understand because when you think of a gavel, there were, in my mind, maybe I'm wrong, but I would think there was only one of two places a gavel could be, either in the mayor's office or sitting on the podium or the dais uh, of the council. Went in the public meeting room, so the ladder. It was a ladder. Okay, got you. There is some consensus out there that some of the charges are a little bit stiff. Is there any? Do you guys have any comment about that? I do not. No comment about that. All right, good deal. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Um, you taking the time to speak with me and clarifying some of those issues. Sure thing. Thank you very much. You guys have a good evening. All right. You too. You too. Take care. Take care.